do I put this? I don't know. Right here. Even though nobody can see anything. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't... Whoa! What kind of content is this? What, what is that? I don't know. Okay, hang on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the angle here. I'm trying to get the angle, you guys. I'm trying to get it. Hang on. with myself. Well, I don't know how else to do it, but like this. Hi, guys. <laughs> yes, girl, craft for us. Okay, that's exactly what I'm going to do today. <sighs> the colony. <laughs> Why? Oh my God, I miss home. Hi everyone. 10 seconds in, I'm already acting dramatic. Oh, oh, whoa, my bad. Sorry if this angle is a little off, but I, I don't, I don't know. Is that, was that too much? I feel like I should just stop while I'm ahead. Yeah, I should have. I should have just let it go like that. Okay. I don't know if you guys saw the title, but I thought I would just do another live where I craft. And um, so that's what we're going to do. So I saw this super adorable... Um, like gift bag on Pinterest. And I thought it was really cute and I thought it would be fun to like make it into a boo bag. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I just grabbed some like random Dollar Tree. Like this is all Dollar Tree. Well, I have some ribbons that are from like um, Hobby Lobby and Walmart, but then everything else is a Dollar Tree. Like these ribbons are Dollar Tree. This is pretty little bats. I have my tape from Dollar Tree, my scissors. And these are the bags. I might create multiple ones. So we'll see. So that's what we're gonna do. Can't see you, yeah. I don't know how to get everything and me in the shot. So that's what we're gonna do. Hi everyone. Um. I need my phone for this, but I'm filming with my phone. So I'll be right back. Y'all stay right here. You babysit the dining room. I'll be right back. Okay, I have to get one more thing, hang on. Some craft paper. Okay, did the dining room behave? Okay. Yeah. 
I think I'm gonna start with the bigger bag first. And yeah. So I've yeah, I've I've already seen a bunch of comments I thought I would um address Hurricane Ian. Um I man this storm was like really clearly stressful for a lot of people and um there's there's just looking like a lot of casualties and the biggest reason for this is because no one expected for it to go where it went and because it actually had been projected to hit my area. It was for the longest time, like for the, for the longest time before Ian even became a tropical storm, before the eye formed, it already had like projections in place and it was gonna hit my area. It was either gonna hit Big Bend area and it was always that direction for a good chunk it really wasn't until like the last 24 hours that once this storm crossed over Cuba that it really started to shift. So a lot of people in the South were being told, like I was being told, this is gonna hit my side, this is, could hit Big Bend area. And so no one in the South really thought anything of it. And then up until like the last 24 hours, it started to go further, further south. And it was like Tampa, Tampa was it, Tampa was the place. And it pulled a Charlie and it really hooked. It just like hooked from Cuba into the south and those people just weren't prepared. They weren't under the evacuation. It was more, you know, Tampa area that were getting the most of the evacuations. I have a headache from just like thinking about all this, but this is just devastating. Um, and it hit what? Cape, Cor Cor Cape Coral and Fort Myers and um, like a cat four. So I'm sure everybody knows by now and it's devastating. There are people trying to find their relatives um, through all this and it's just, it's just sad. And I've, I've even seen, I've seen people, you know, um, I've just seen TikToks already where they're like, we just, we weren't prepared and somebody had commented, how are you not prepared yet two weeks? But that's the thing for two weeks, I was preparing, you know, I, as a matter of fact, you'll see an upcoming vlog that, and I was, this was all like, I was very upset. I was very just, it was a lot because I was supposed to go home. I was supposed to go to Dallas because it was my nephew's birthday party. And it was, it was the weekend and I had been watching Dennis Phillips and he was like, this is when you prepare, this is when you do this. And so of course, I learned a lot. I learned I should have been prepared back in July. Um, and honestly, even further, because I guess hurricane season is like mid October. So I should have been prepared the moment I moved here. And when we started getting these reports that, you know, my area was going to get hit, I had a huge decision to make because what I was afraid of was that I was going to have to make multiple like decisions based off of, I guess, what was going on. So I canceled my flight into Dallas because I realized I really don't know that much about this house. As a matter of fact, I only realized when my sister-in-law had come here because we were out in the patio and we we're talking about this, I noticed that there were these little holes around the, the windows and the doorways. And when I, Mike and I first moved in, I was like, oh, how cool. They added these little things for them to add garland. Y'all, 
that's not what they're there for. Um, they're there for hurricane shutters. But when my sister-in-law had come and we were on the patio, I started looking at them again because we we're just like sitting out there. And I was like, you know, I was like, I think, I think those are for shutters. And so you, you would think, you know, that would have been like a conversation that I might've had with the realtor. It wasn't. Um, but lucky for me, this house was already prepped for, for all of this. So I realized I had to cancel the trip. So I was very upset about that. I can't ever take back the fact that I, I've missed his first birthday. He won't know, but I'll know. And so that was really hard for me. And I was looking forward to you know, being home. And so anyways, regardless, like that was going on. So my emotions were pretty heightened. And then I'm stressed because I'm like, oh my God, like how, what shutters? Well, what, what shutters? I don't know. Luckily, you know, I found them in the attic and then I find out I don't have bolts. So I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to go through, you know, a lot of like thinking in my head, what kind of bolts? What, what does this look like? What does it mean? All this stuff. So no, for real, I, I thought I thought the holes were for Garland. It wasn't until I realized there weren't holes at the top of the of the windows and the door frames that I was like, I don't think it's for that. Because like, why wouldn't there be holes at the top? Um, so so then I'm I'm having to realize, okay, clearly, you know, I do have to stay home because what if I don't find bolts? Um, or two, what if this thing turns into an evacuation? I have to be prepared for this. I have to be prepared to get everything in order, you know, get the dog, get, get everything and figure out, you know, exit strategy and all that stuff. So you can't just do that in a couple hours. Um, so anyways, sitting here and, and at this point, I'm just literally watching this storm. I'm watching Dennis Phillips pretty much hourly like I just did not stop it was it was intense because with this storm the models were so completely different I just want to go on record and say that clearly the euro was once again more accurate because what I've also been learning is the GFS not saying not to pay attention to GFS at all I've just been watching a lot of people talking and when you watch Dennis Phillips or you see comments I've learned a lot of people have said historically Euro has been the most accurate and the Euro like pretty much had it in the South, but the GFS was taking it like GFS at first said Texas and it's in New Orleans, all this stuff. So the problem with the storm was that one, the eye didn't form for a while. And once it did, the question was, where was it going to go through the Caribbean? Was it going to go between like the peninsula or was it going to go over Cuba? Because all those factors are obviously play into everything. Um, and then I just think that the, the, the cold front or whatever, the pressure coming in from the North contributed to this thing, taking this hard turn into the South. So the point is they were never told essentially, you know, that they were in this like danger zone because it was just so north and then it kept going further down to Tampa. And then it was, you know, kind of last, last minute where it was like, okay, it's, this thing is headed straight for Fort Myers essentially. So anyways, the, the answer is I've not been impacted at all. As a matter of fact, I have not gotten any any of the tail end of the storm. It has not made any appearance whatsoever. We have had wind, but I think the wind again is from the that cold front that came in. But this, I, I'm not a weatherman, so like, listen, um, I'm just going off the charts that I saw Dennis Phillips put on like when areas would be affected by like the winds and the surge and blah blah blah. Yeah, that's, I don't, I don't know what, what you were responding to. It wasn't originally supposed to hit Tampa, was my point of the whole story. It, 
it for the longest time was going to be Panhandle, Big Bend, and then really in the last 24-ish hours, it was then Tampa. So in the last minute, it did that. So anyways, this thing's still going, by the way. Now it's crossing over into the Atlantic. It's going to go up into Georgia, Carolina. So that's, yeah. So very sad. Um, I... I also heard it was like a one in, one in a thousand or something, some crazy number of um, the chances of it flooding the way that it did where it hit. So it's like pretty crazy. Um, yeah, sorry, I haven't been really reading comments, so I don't know. Oh man, you guys, this is just craziness. Oh, my sweatshirt. Yes, thank you for answering her. Uh, okay, so let's do. Let's start. Let's start these wee bags. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing, so you should know that straight away. I know that I wanted to kind of look clean, but like with some stuff, which makes no sense. So I'm gonna use one of these. Dollar Tree window clings. I don't know which one I want to use. I know I definitely want to use this one right here, but I don't know if that's going to be this bag or the smaller bag. Because I'm going to do two of them. And a boo bag is just like a gift bag, honestly. I think that's two. That, that'll fit, actually. Yeah, so I'm going to do that pink one for this one. This Hocus Pocus one is really cute. This boo one is like the perfect size though. Or this happy haunting one. I'm gonna do this one. But you know me, I have to anchor it down to something. So let's get some construction paper. I think I'm gonna go with orange. Yeah. And I'm actually gonna attach this to this first and then to the bag. I think it'll be easier that way. Yeah, this storm was pretty nuts. I need some, I need a glue stick. I'll be right back, watch the dining room. Whoa. Okay, what's all this on the... Okay, I have to tell you guys something so adorable. Um, by the way, my, my fall and, um, Halloween mystery kits on my Etsy shop are sold out. Um, and Loki's been helping me. So I feel like you should know that. So if you're still waiting for one of your orders, Loki helps me by going to the post office. He guards your orders while we drive. And he watches me go into the post office and drop them off. I feel like it might be a little too wide. Oh, no, it's perfect. Oh, you're so well, I'm telling you, I'm telling you window clings is where it's at. And that's why, like, if you ever just watch my Dollar Tree hauls, but like junk journaling is, isn't necessarily your thing, or you're just kind of learning about it and you're wondering like why, I, sh I should say this would be great for junk journaling. It's because sometimes, you know, journals can take, you know, a lot of little, like, a lot of little things to fill it. So it's nice to be able to go into a store like Dollar Tree and just find, you know, items for that. And you gotta, like, look how cute that's gonna be. Oh, please. Um, all right, but with this, I'm gonna use this uh, double-sided tape. It's my favorite. I talk about it all the time. Um, 
it's like, let me put it to you this way. If Dollar Tree ever thought, one, that they're gonna close down ever, <laughs> I don't think so. Not on my watch, okay? Um, but if Crafter Square thinks that they're ever gonna like discontinue this tape, no, they're not. So, there's that. Okay. I could add, yeah, let me add some more. Bye, Valerie. Um, it I, This will be up, like I'll leave it up once the live is over. You'll still be able to come back and watch it if you want to. <laughs> oh, y'all saying bye, this is so sweet. Y'all are just so nice, I swear. I thought it would just be nice to kind of do a live and just kind of hang out and craft, you know? All right, so now I'm gonna put this in the center of my bag. I'm still keeping the bag flat just because it's obviously easier to work with it this way. Um, and I do want to center this, so right about here. Y'all. Um, Oh, you try the tape, it's amazing. I'm telling you, it's so good. Um, oh, Puerto Rico, hi. It's, like, this is a really simple craft, by the way. So now, I'm gonna leave it like this, but obviously, like, you can just do it up. Do it up however you wanna do it, but I now want to add a bunch of little things to the handle. I love these um, bows. Okay, they're pom-poms to me because I used to be a cheer mom. So to me, they're pom-poms, but they are the voila section at Dollar Tree. So you're going to find them in the party section. This orange color is perfection. Perfection. So I don't know if it's going to go on this bag, but it's going on some one of the bags I'm going to do. Because I'm thinking I want to add like a bunch of little ribbons and things here. But I don't know if I'm gonna do that one. So, on this bag. I mean, it's perfect for this bag, but let's just go with the ribbon first. I also got these curly cues. I thought I could like clip some of them off, which I think I'm gonna do. I also have it in purple, all Dollar Tree. I have these little bats. If I wanna add them as charms, I have the mesh tube in these colors. So I'm probably going to pull those too. I have thicker ribbon, but I just don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll try them out. Essentially, I wanted thin ribbon. So let's, let's start with that. Let's start with a base with a black one. Let's do that. And I'm just going to cut it like this. And then I'm going to tie it around one of the handles. Well, I gotta decide. Actually, I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna go with the left. You can double knot it if you want to. I probably should. So let me double knot it. Okay. And then just keep adding. So I'm gonna add another layer of the black and you can do different lengths as well. It doesn't have to be um, the same. As a matter of fact, I don't think I want them to be. Okay, now we go in and add a solid orange. And all of this is gonna be on the same handle. I'm not going to add anything to the other, to the other handles. You can if you want. That's not what I'm doing here. Okay. That it's looking, it's looking rough. 
just just wait or I'm, I'm hoping <laughs> I don't even know all right let's go in for actually let's do another round of the solid okay now let's go in for a pattern so I'm gonna do this polka dot one Kind of getting chunky, but that's okay. Okay. And it's going for a gingham. So if you missed the Halloween um, junk journals, Please. Now let's add, well, see, I still want it to be more full. So let me go in with another layer of the polka dot. Cause we're gonna keep adding to this, okay? Until it reaches the sky. So. Oh, it's looking fresh. Let's add another layer of the orange. Let's do a short one. I feel like, is there probably a smarter way to do this? Maybe, but that's how we're gonna do it. What did Shirley say? What I miss? Okay. Oh my God, that's adorable. Let's add another one of these. Let's do a short one. Y'all. All right, now let's go ahead and add some of these curly cues. I was just thinking like, I don't even care. I'm just gonna cut. I would have had to grab the complicated one, huh? And because it like, see how cute it already has like the curl? Um, adding like that's it this is this is it this is this is the craft you know what I mean like if you're waiting for some grand but I'm gonna keep going because I want there to be a lot going on here so let's add more I'm clearly going for a black or black and orange thing but I'm gonna add purple in, in here as well didn't grab I thought I did I thought I grabbed the spiders not this spider but um oh oh here they are oh no. see I'm thinking like and look, you can even keep the little ring on because this is getting so thick that this can like wrap around it and it's just perfect. And you don't have to hot glue it down or anything. And if you want to just keep it simple, you could end it like this. Okay, just a couple, have your little, hold on. Have your little spider there in the center. And then, yeah, this thing is kind of like, I want it 
wanted to go this way. Hang on. Well, just gotta keep playing with it. But I'm not done, but like that's, that's an idea. So let's just keep adding. I feel like I need more ribbon. So let's do that. Let's go in for the orange. Oh, was I saying something about my journal and I stopped? I don't even know. Um, I, if you missed the junk journal for fall and Halloween, there is a chance I might upload like one, one more to my shop. That's pending the, me finishing the last couple of orders and seeing what more material I have left because I'm about to put together my Christmas kit, um, for my photo for Etsy and those are going to be available. They're, I actually wanted them to be available October 1st, but um, how, how darling is that? Okay, I think I essentially I wanted like a bit more ribbon and I can also like cut these if I think they're too long, by the way. Can definitely be a lot shorter. So I think I'll do that actually. Kind of make it look like its own little pom-pom. Yeah, so there we go. The question is, am I gonna do purple on this one? I'm not, not on this one. I want it to be all black and orange. We'll do purple on the next one. There is purple in this. So like the outlining is purple and some of the stars are purple, but I think because the majority is black and orange, I'm gonna do black and orange and just let purple live here. So let's just keep adding some more of this and then we're, we'll add like the centerpiece, whether it's gonna be the spider or it's gonna be a bat. These, we'll see. And that's it, that's like, that's the idea. Um, and you can just, you can do this and you know, fill it up with gifts, give it to somebody. Or it's a little boo bag, you know, like you've been booed kind of thing. Yeah, I think the curly cues are really adorable. So I'm gonna just keep adding those. See, this is an, a perfect example of why I could never be a fashion designer because like you have to kind of know when to stop. I don't know what my stop would be, you know what I mean? Also, is it just me? I mean, I love watching. Um, it's not called Project Runway anymore. What's it ca called? The Cut? whatever it's called with Heidi Klum. Sometimes I watch like their, what they have to do. And I'm like, you want them to make what in, in, a, in a day? It would, I it would take me two days to just figure out what I'm doing. Like what I'm going to design. I don't, I don't understand. And then the other thing that, that I just don't get is they'll literally get rid of a designer for like one bad, one bad, you know, episode or one bad, um, you know, whatever, 
challenge. And I'm like, I get the concept that the reason for this is like one day you're in, the next day you're out kind of thing, but I still, I'm still puzzled by this sometimes because I feel like there are some who like kind of like skirt in the middle and they just do like not bad, not good, you know? But then there are people who do like, they'll do good like back to back to back episodes and then one episode they do bad and they're gone. I'm like, what? Okay, see how like as you keep adding, it just gets floofier, adorable. I could keep going because the original bag that I think I saw on Pinterest, I mean, it was pretty f fluffy here, but this is what we're gonna do. I really should have added a little bit more base, but that's okay. So again, we could go in with our center embellishment and it could be these little like rings. They also make these, um, with this pack, it's purple spiders at the top and then orange at the bottom. I've already used all the purple ones, but the spider's perfect because I don't have to do anything. I can just add him to the center and look how cute that is. So there's our, there's our first boo bag. Okay, let's put that one up and let's do a small bag. Same concept. I wanted to do, I wanted to do this pink one, but I don't, I don't have anything for the pink. I don't. This is this is all the ribbon and material that I have. So I want to kind of match. Let's go for this boo one. And but you know with this boo one, I can do a purple background. So let's do that. I was like, why did that bird sound so close? I have um, my, my windows open. Comments are gone. No idea if I'm here by myself. Okay. Purple with the black, oh yeah. gonna turn out if I wanted to I could even like do a little bit more I could add a different like thicker cardstock with a print or something behind we're still here <laughs> um I could do that actually hang on let me go see if I have some paper watch the dining room Okay, I have this like cardstock. I don't know if there's anything in here that I want, but let's see. No. 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 I don't, I'm never a fan of like stripes going at an angle. I don't know why. The only one that I saw that I would do is this one. But you could do something like this, like if you wanted to. but I don't, so there's that. So let's just do that. I'm switching to the tape. I almost just snapped my little pinky there.
Oh, thank you. Thank you for everyone who is worried and thinking about me. Honestly, I was worried too, you know? There we go. So now, same concept, but this time I'm thinking we're gonna incorporate purple and maybe some of this. I, I don't even know what this stuff is around it. I don't even know what that is. Y'all told me to have a mat to craft on top of this table and I completely forgot again. I need to buy something. So let's start again with our base. Um, how do I wanna do this? I'm gonna pick the same, I'm gonna go for the left side. My brother was burning up my phone. Yeah. It was crazy, you know, cause you're, you're getting told it's gonna hit you, it's gonna hit you. Get prepared, you know, I already, before I even made my decision to to not go to Dallas, um, saw water was running out here, and even some gas, you know. So I was also trying to be prepared for an evacuation as well. You know, I was, I went to go fill up Micah's car with gas and they, they were out of her, her grade. You can't put anything else, you know, if you have to put in premium, you can't, you can't put anything lower. It's going to lock up your engine. So, um, so that was a whole thing. And then you have to start thinking about, you know, what that looks like. So a lot of things, and then it was just like, and then, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I learned. Also, like I learned so much from this. I also learned that even though it started looking like it wasn't going to hit me, if I learned anything is I will, I need to act as if it still will. Um, even though I wasn't anywhere near, you know, at this point it is climbing closer. So, it was climbing closer to Fort Myers and I'm not at all close to Fort Myers. So if I was close to Fort Myers, you know, I still would have, you know, tried to be as prepared as possible. What I'm saying is, um, I learned in a way, I don't, how do I say this? Not to not listen to the weatherman, but to learn that storms are still gonna do what they want to do so and you have to just be prepared for yourself um that's what i learned so all right now i'm gonna start adding a bunch well let's just let's just see emily in paris oh i love emily in paris I'm waiting for season three. This ribbon is stunning. Look at this. Look again, more beautiful in person. The glitter just does not pick up on camera. Let's just see what would happen with a big a big chunk. 
probably should have been a little bit longer, but that's okay. Now, the one that I saw on Pinterest, they even added, mm, I don't like that. They added like little, little bells. Like they fed one of these little end pieces to a bell and it was so cute. I just don't have any left, so. What is up with this one right here? What's, what's going, oh. should go in a bigger bag so let's just do this let's go in with these and then I'll add some purple I will trim that here in a second but I do like that I wish I had I think I mm, I don't know if I have any more purple spiders. Frisco! Oh, I miss Frisco. I really do. Let's go ahead and I will say I'm not entirely sure, but there is a chance that I'm having some allergies, but it's very mild. I've just kind of noticed like a little bit of headache, um, some sneezing kind of thing. I think I need to add more. I'm going to call my oatmeal porridge from now on. Oh my God, I forgot about my deep thought. But yeah, I was I was devastated when I found that out. I really thought Goldilocks was just eating something amazing and it was just oatmeal the entire time. Like I've gone my whole life, you know? Now let's add some purple. But yeah, as you can see, it's the same. It's the same concept as the other bag. And that's really the idea from Dollar Tree. Super cute. And then obviously you can just use it as a gift bag. So you can just put whatever gifts you want. I would do a tumbler. And then I would just fill the tumbler with candy is like, I think what I would do. Oh, I definitely need to add a ton of this purple. So I'll probably be here a while. Tell me why all of a sudden I have this like urge to watch Weekend at Bernie's. And what? Some of these are losing their little curl, so. And you know what? Some of them, I need them to be a little bit tighter. So let's, yeah, there we go. Okay. 
let's keep going. Because why stop? The weather's actually very nice here, which sounds, right now, sounds incredibly selfish to say. Um, but it is. I mean, other than some heavy, or not, no. Again, retracking. Uh, other than some wind, it's very nice. It's actually so cool that last night Mike and I uh, were going for our walk, taking looking for a walk. I was in straight leggings and a sweatshirt. And I wasn't hot by the end of the walk. So I should tell you something. This one's getting interesting because it's like, there we go. See, isn't that fun and cute? It kind of, in a way, kind of reminds me of Homecoming a little bit. All the, all the ribbons. I think I'm actually going to reveal Micah's Homecoming Mums in a vlog. I've never showed them before. So. FYI. I will be showing them. And I made them all. Traditionally, it's not how it's done. Um, and I'll probably explain like why I did end up doing them. Traditionally, your whoever takes you to homecoming, the, the mom, because the boy's not gonna do it. I promise you that. The the boy mom makes the girls mums and the girl mom makes the boys garter. So I made them all. I made the mums and the garters. So I probably still have burn scars on my on my hands. I'm feeling like let me let me trim now because this the black is a little, there we go. Oh yeah, that's much better. How cute is that? Okay, so now let's do a centerpiece because we could again go with the, a spider, but I'm sure you're like, no, please don't. Let's go with a bat. Cause like, why not? Yeah. very glittery you take these outside and you just spray paint or you spray them down with hairspray so I'm just gonna it has it comes with a little claw clip so instead of trying to get the hot glue and all that although if you're probably going to gift this you might want to just really secure it into a ribbon and then hot glue it down just so that it doesn't come out but you know lord Let me see. I should have. I should have waited. Let's do that. Let's add another piece, and then. As I'm about to close it. Well, hang on. Not that you can see, but you know. There we go. Stop. That is precious. Let me tell you what, let me tell you what really makes my mind just fall apart. People's creativity. I'm just like, how? What? How, how did you come up with that? And Pinterest is that place where you just see so many different things and it's just, it blows my mind. It blows my freaking brain away. This curved one right here, I don't like it. You know what I mean? Like, it just, there, we cut the little curvy one. Okay. So there's the, look, look, look at this. Oh 
My goodness. Like, I'm sorry, but if, if I saw this or if somebody gifted this to me, I'd be like, wow, like you went, you took a trip to Hobby Lobby. And no, Dollar Tree. Okay. I have an interesting story to tell you guys, actually. I, I might have told this story a long time ago. I don't even remember. But um, am I going to do another bag? Let's do another one with this pink, but I'm going to keep it ultra simple on this one. Just because I don't have anything that really matches it. And let's go for a big bag. I really want to use that pom-pom. And you know what? The pink one might be the perfect one for it. So let's just do it. So with that said, let's see. Okay. I'm going to go white. I'm going to go white on this one. Oh, I'm excited for this one now. In my early, early 20s. I, I've been saying this. I've been shopping at Dollar Tree since... Since I was 19 years old, since I had Micah. And when I was 19 and in my early 20s, I would, you know, have to pop into Dollar Tree. And I used to feel embarrassed. I did. Maybe it was just the age thing. I know when you're that age, you just get embarrassed by a lot. Um, but I remember I would walk really fast to like, get in the store and um <laughs> well let me tell you if I could turn back time I would have strutted like that's that's my runway now do you understand what I'm saying to you when I get out of that car you might as well grab all the fans and blow them on me because That was a little scary, but you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so. The white is so pretty. You've been going to Dollar Tree for 30 years? Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm 40 now, you know? But, and that was only like, I only felt that way for like a year. You know, it wasn't like something that. But yeah, I, re I remember that. And now. No, for real, like. Bring, bring out, bring out the cameras because. I want people to see me walk up in there because I know I know the gems that are there okay I was like why can't I grab this one <laughs> you walk in like from <laughs> that's right amen that's right that's what I'm saying that's how we should all walk up in there because we know we know the secret because clearly not everyone knows the secret because if everyone knows the secret it would be more packed than, you know, a Target. So, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to center it. You know what I'm saying? You still have stuff from that long ago, too? <gasps> you have vintage Dollar Tree items? How dare you? Like, what do you have? Oh, that's so sweet for saying I make it cool. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Um, oh, it's a moment. Tell me that's not fresh. The question is, do we add anything else? Like, I, mm, this is a hard one for me. I don't want to mess with any oranges because I'm, I like my shades to be perfect. So. Do 
do I add black? Hold on, let me think. Just pink and purple. That's actually really cute. I didn't think I would like that. The problem is this is already so big because this would be my top layer. And these are curled. If I had purple ribbon, which I do, I have these, but we just found out I, I don't like the thicker ones. Let me add a couple. Mm. Yeah, no, it's going to be weird. Let's just go in for, for this. Well, here's the thing about this. I should be adding a bunch of ribbon because when I lay this on top, it's gonna be like really full and really pretty. So I could do that. I would just have to add a bunch of, I would do the black, I think, all black. Maybe just the solid black and the polka dots. Let's try that. Do a braided ribbon. Ooh, that's so cute. I didn't even think of like doing anything too, too extra like that. I think that's a really cool idea actually. Um, a little green. I wish I had green. Oh, I do have green. I have that thing over there. Okay, let's try it. Let me just add these. Oh, Brookie, thank you for telling me about the cards. I actually stopped at a Dollar Tree I'd never been to before the other day, and I found them, and I gasped. So I did find some. Um, so they'll be, they're actually right here. They'll be in the next haul. Let's see how, let me try to do this a little fast. I feel like, I feel like I'm going at the pace of a snail, you know what I'm saying? But. Okay. Let's go in with the polka dot. So, um, Hocus Pocus 2 comes out tomorrow, I think. Or is it like tonight at midnight? Micah! Hello? I know she hears me. You know, you know what I mean? She could have her headphones in because I'm talking. Um, well, maybe y'all know on Disney Plus, does stuff come out at like midnight or like a certain time the next day? Because I feel like it probably comes out at midnight. I don't, I don't really know. Oh, precious. The bags are just for a gift bag, but like a boo bag, you know, you could leave it for a neighbor like you've been booed. Um, so, and you could add booze. You know what I'm saying? Actually, I learned something really interesting about why it's called booze, y'all. I just found this out. I don't even have like the full, like full, full story, but it actually was because of one of our presidents. I forget what his name was from the very, like early, early, early president. And as a matter of fact, he was the, he was the one president that's been like the shortest, the shortest president in history. He like, uh, did he die like 30 days later or something like that? Um, so anyways, he was actually, even though he was the short, shortest sitting president, he, he is, he is the one who coined the terms, get the ball rolling. And he, and the, the, 
the TikTok. Yeah, you saw it. You saw the TikTok I'm talking about. I saw it on the TikTok. They were, it was, it was some, it's some trend where they're like, um, talk about somebody in history that nobody knows about kind of thing. So it was about this president and uh, this guy talks about how um, people would just like comment and say how he was just basically sitting in his log cabin and getting drunk. So he rolled with it during his campaign, this president. So during his campaign, he had a whiskey bottle made in the shape of a, his cabin. And I think the guy who, the guy, the, the whiskey guy or whoever like made this bottle, his name was like Edward Booze or something like that. And so, um, so that's where the term booze came from. It's not like a liquor thing. It's some guy's name. <laughs> what? Oh, so it is at midnight? The release, thank you for answering the question. How did I, how did I talk about this? I don't know how y'all tolerate me. I don't. And I... I don't think I should ask questions. You know, I should just leave it alone and just be thankful you're here. Okay, I just keep adding little ribbons. We will trim them. Um, okay, y'all said green. Green it is. This mesh tube is actually really nice. I bet you could make a beautiful wreath. That's one thing I feel like also impresses me are mesh wreaths where people just add all the things, all the ribbons. And it's not so much like the wreath itself, but it's like the combinations that they pick between the ribbons and the mesh. And I'm just like, what? That to me, that's genius because I feel like Y'all, I closed it. I wrapped it around the second handle. Well, we're gonna go with it. So, this is just to give you guys ideas. Um, so don't do that. Don't don't wrap your ribbons around both handles. Um, do I expect trick or treaters here? I've actually been asked that quite a bit. The answer is I don't know. I don't think so, but I don't know. I am prepared, however, for them. So. Hopefully that answers your question. Now I think with these mesh tubes, I think it's it'll make them more fluffy to keep them shorter. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I also wanna take into account that this orange one is gonna lay on top. So okay, so I do need to keep them still a little bit longer, but that's okay. These add volume, so Loki's in his kennel. Um, it's it's kind of late nap time for it. What time is it? Yeah, it's kind of late for him, but we, we've had a fun day. He went to the post office with me because he likes to guard your Etsy orders. And then, but you guys, he, this is so cute because Loxy, Loxy never liked car rides. Um, so it's not something I'm used to, is I guess what I'm trying to say. But I, here's what blows me away about Loki. Okay. Since moving here, he's only been in the car a couple times. He went to the vet, and then I recently just started taking him with me to, to the post office. Because I forgot that he likes car rides. Anyways, point is... The other day, cause like when I took him to the vet, I didn't say anything to him. I just put his leash on, brought him in the car. But when I, but when I was like, oh, you know what? Let me take him with me to the post office. Just to kind of get him, you know, still used to the car and all that. I looked at him and said, do you want to go for a car ride? And he perked up and started bouncing and jumping. And he went straight for the garage door. And he never does that. I'm like, how does this dog know that? How does he know what I'm talking about? And he did. He came and waited for me while I covered the car seat and then he just jumped right in. And 
It's just so adorable. He is adorable. What's happening about Loki's crate training? I can't see comments, so. Why do I keep him in his cage so much? It's a kennel, it's not a cage. He, um, he loves it. It's his, his little doggy house. And she's correct, it is crate training as well. He's a puppy and he has a routine. He's not in a cage. Okay, I think that's enough green. Or is it? I'm gonna trim the black. So, but that green is perfect. I'm so glad whoever suggested it because the green is perfect, honestly. I think I need, just wanna add more green. Let's see if I can make it kind of go spike in the other direction. Yeah, cause I feel like it needs to go like north and south now. There we go. It's kind of like, why not? While we're here, I've already closed the bag up, so. Okay. I'm gonna wait to trim on this one. Okay, that's actually really great because then I have a nice thick like center for this to sit on top of. Now, I would glue the I would hot glue this down. I'm not even going to comment. I'm not even going to comment. Think what you want to think. Okay. So, Do I want to add more green? I do. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna trim again after I do this one part. Where's the... Yeah, these little pom-poms are my favorite. This orange color is gorgeous. Oh, it's right here. I was like, what? But again, I'm just doing this. So, um, I would definitely hot glue yours down, but for the sake of this video and the hot glue being over there, we're just gonna do that. I need a trim. So let's trim. You could definitely have it kind of be um, equal in a sphere if you wanted to, but I'm not trying to be too much like that. You can, yeah, see, look, you definitely need a hot, a hot glue gun for this for this part, for sure. Um, I feel like there's not any of the polka dot on this side. It's all. So you might want to also consider that, like when you are tying all your ribbons, you might want to make sure that a few go east and west and then north and south. Um, because as you keep adding, then some will kind of fill in that in between. So, but if that's going to be like something for you where you want an even distribution, you might want to keep that in mind as you're adding your layers, because once you start, can you imagine having to undo all this? Absolutely not. Um, yeah, I think so much. I the green is everything. So, and I wasn't was not gonna add the green, but to the lady who suggested it, 
Um, the, they're just boo bags. I just wanted to like craft and show you guys how to use Dollar Tree stuff. Essentially for me, they're not for anybody, but um, actually, you know what? I might send these to my niece and like fill them up in a care package. They're just not very four-year-old, but you know. I mean, actually like this is actually really cute. She'd probably really love that. I was just thinking something more like, you know, Disney princess kind of thing. But anyways, look how cute. Please stop, this is so darling. So this one has the little spider in the center. And then, I'm gonna go. I feel like I need to go hot glue this, but. Y'all get it. Y'all get the gist. Obviously, you can see you'll need to do, you'll need to hot glue these down. The pom-pom down for sure. Because you could also do like a traditional little bow if you wanted to. I just think the pom-poms are cuter and it looks not so gifty while being gifty. I don't even know if that makes sense. That probably doesn't. Okay. So that's the idea. That's the craft with me. Hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely need to get a craft mat. Where should I get one? Should I just get one off of Amazon or? Um, what do you guys think? I should have grabbed a bag to put all this stuff in. This one's your favorite? Yeah, this one's everything. I had no idea this one was gonna turn out so freaking precious. Especially with the like green in there, so cute. And then this one has the bat in the center. And then I feel like I'm, I'm just not keeping these up for a while. So here's this one. You see why when I started, so this was my first one and I was saying, I was like, oh, I just feel like it needs to be more full. Um, and then you can add little charms to them. That's like what I originally saw on Pinterest. Um, like one of them had like a little bell, just like one bell on this one that I saw, I thought it was thought it was so cute so here's that one. This one. Uh, the construction paper is actually from Walmart I love the purple curly cues I think I think without the purple here it wouldn't have looked the same so I love the color combos on that and then I'm sure everyone's favorite I, this one with the, the distribution of the, the black is not quite there, not quite even. So that's something I wish I could have changed. But, you know, you just play with it and something to keep in mind when you're doing this for yourself. All right, guys, that's it for the little boo bags. I hope you guys love the live. Um, I've loved doing them. I really have never really done YouTube lives before. I've been doing, what, well, this is my third one now. Um, so it's fun. I think I'll definitely continue them. Um, you got your silicone mat from Amazon? Okay, I'll definitely have to do that. Um, don't go. <laughs> Why do you comments just disappear? I don't, I don't understand. They just like disappear from my screen. Yeah. I'm just reading comments. Oh, Jeannie, I love you too. Oh, making these for your grandbabies. I think, oh, you're welcome. You're so welcome. I'm happy to share it with you guys. Um, I, again, I saw this inspiration from 
Pinterest. Texas misses me. I miss Texas too. Oh, I'm not worried about what anyone says about Loki. I love my dog so much, so. <laughs> okay. Um, then come back. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. I, I have to, I have to give it, I have to give it a try for sure. Um, I, this was something that a lot of you have been with me forever. I've been talking about Florida forever. Like if I didn't do it, you know, I was always going to wonder and my life had just been, you know, not that there's anything wrong with that by any means, but I had Micah 19 and I, um, I just didn't do anything. I didn't do any traveling, you know, which also again is not really like my thing per se. Like I'm happy kind of being grounded and being in one place. Like I don't need a jet set for me personally. So, but I, I thought if I don't ever try this, this will be the one thing like I'll always regret. So I'm happy that I, I went for it, you know, so. Um, so I have to give it some, I have to give it a chance, but in the meantime, I miss home. You've been obsessed with the Texas moms on TikTok. I cannot wait to reveal Micah's because if I do say so myself, I went all out for Micah's moms. So the one thing though, and I did this all myself. So, you know, I didn't, I would, um, I would go to the mom's store a lot for like pre-made like braids and stuff because I was I was like no 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 I'm not I'm not doing all that um but there were a lot of things that like you'll see you'll see when I reveal them um will I visit home for the holidays or were you I don't ever go anywhere for the holidays this is just something like Micah Mike and I always stayed home and it's still like a thing for us like we don't we don't like to not be at home for Christmas. So, um, I think one year, one year actually, we weren't home for Christmas and I, I didn't like it to be quite frank. Um, so, which will be sad too, because back home we would have like our family's like white elephant thing. So I'll probably miss that. What are mums? Mums is a Texas, it started, it originated in Texas in the 1930s. And it's for like the homecoming games. Um, and essentially, whoever you're going to homecoming with, whoever your date is, the girls would wear, and it actually used to be a real mum, a real flower in the center. And then you would have like ribbons and then the boys wore a garter belt around their arm and they would have the mum in the center. And like, let's say, let's say he was in band. Then he would have like, you know, things that would say like what instrument he played or that he was in the band and it would have like the school colors. And like, if you go into a Hobby Lobby, especially in the South and especially in Texas, if you go in, if you walk into a Hobby Lobby in Texas during homecoming season, you can find a whole ribbon section of whatever schools are in that Hobby Lobby's town. And they sell like all the ribbons and things for like those schools and the colors and all that stuff. Um, but colors do change when you're senior. So I'll get to that in a second. But um, it originated in Texas and now it's become like massive. Like your mums are huge for the girls. They literally go down to the floor, some of them. And then traditionally as well, there is a sizing to them. Um, you have one mum as a freshman and now they're not real flowers. They're just the fake flowers just because of all the additions that you do to them. Um, and then as a sophomore, you have two mums. As a junior, you have three mums. And then as a senior, you have like four, like however many. I mean, I've seen some, 
I've seen I've seen a mum where it was like in the shape of Texas and it covered the whole girl's body. Um, Micah would no. Mm. I'm I'm grateful Micah wore her mom's. <laughs> um, but she uh so I try to keep Micah's very like not that floofy, but um and then they're your school colors, but when you're a senior, they're either silver or gold. It kind of depends on your school colors. So like, let's say you have silver like in your school colors, then you would just do silver. But then if you don't have one or the either, I've seen like some seniors, one do silver and one do gold, but they're essentially a completely different color than the rest. And then they just have a bunch of stuff on them. They have like bells and they make so much noise. I'm sure teachers hate them. <laughs> Um, but like Micah's, because she was a cheerleader, she had cheer. She had the megaphones. Like when I made her little bear that went in the center of her mom, her little bear was a cheerleader. So she had her little pom-poms. Again, I'm going to reveal her mom's. Um, should I go grab one? Should I go, should I go grab one? Okay. Use, use, babysit the diaper. Babysit the diaper. that you can really see all of this hang on so like and listen I actually have to kind of fix some of them because during the move this was one of the things that I had to fit in my car because I had to make sure it came safely but like this is her senior mom and I did all this <laughs> uh, yeah oh see look like her name has kind of come off her megaphone right here, so I need to fix that. And then it has like, oh, and then her bear has a little cap because she was a senior. So it has a little cap and he's had a little bow at the top. She got her little pom-poms. I even did a, I even made a dress for her out of ribbon, which I don't know if you can tell, but like I wrapped ribbon around her waist and then a sash across. Oh, it took me days days like my arm is hurting holding this up but like she would wear it like this and then it has the it has a thing for around and look one of them came off so i gotta reattach it so don't ask me what it costs because i can't talk about it um but yeah isn't that beautiful? Oh, and then like, let's say her date, like they would also have like the name on here, which I don't know where everything is at, but there's so much in here. Um, yeah, so like this one has her name on here. And then like, if he was in football, then it would also have like, his name and his jersey number like on hers and then on his it would have like her name and a little cheer thing on his garter so you you match essentially but yeah see like this one I made like I made a lot of these little things myself I made all of these but like I'll show you what I didn't make like this one the braid absolutely not I did not do that one or these but like all the strands I picked out yeah see like this one has all the football it's hard to see there's just so much in here in my hands literally oh and there's a whistle just so cute and some moms like some of them also add the light up which I don't think I yeah no because then this was pushing it for Micah I pushed the envelope. Um, 
And then because she was cheering, they would even wear their mums. Like they would get on this bus, bus takes them to the football game. They would have their mums and then they would wear, walk out into the field wearing their mums. But then they would like hang them. Like usually, you know, there's the wall of where the stands are. They would hang their mums like there. So like, they'd get to see them and they would like take pictures of them. It was really cute, really fun. It's a huge Texas tradition. I'm sure there's lots of other states that have like picked it up now too. Um, but yeah, like this one I did. This one I did all myself. I added flowers and the helmets in the center. Oh, some moms, what I was trying to say, some moms would even add snacks. No, this is the thing. They would add little, little like bags. Like, you know, those little like um, bridal bags or baby shower bags at Dollar Tree? The little, what are those called? Organza bags or whatever. They would add like Hershey Kisses or like little like bits of candy inside of them. So, anyways. That's that. Let me go hang this up because I can't drape this over. I can't drape it. So there's that. I have I'll ask Micah, but maybe another time I'll also show you guys her letterman. But that's it. That's what a homecoming mom looks like. You just saw one straight from, from a Texan. Hold on. Oh, South Africa. Wow. That's just crazy. Oh, <laughs> I need to post a picture of Micah in it because you can't see her body. I'll tell you that right now. You can't see your body. But I, what I was trying to say was the one thing that I struggled with personally, um, cause you can have like people make it like, especially in Texas and in Dallas, there's, um, it's called the mom store and uh, they'll actually like make them. And when you go into the store, it's so cool. It's like in Richardson. So if you're like in that area, just go pop in there because you will see they have like one whole wall and it kind of looks like a dry cleaner effect. So they have like racks at the top and somehow like racks and they, that's where they hang all the mums as like people, as you know, they wait to come like pick them up. Um, so it's, it's so cool. Um, but yeah, so, oh, I keep forgetting what I was gonna say. So one thing I struggled with was the, the hanging piece. Um, I, cause you have to account for the weight. And so the material, and you also want the material to be, you know, nice because it's gonna be like rubbing on their, their necks. So that was, that was the one thing I, I wish I would have kind of figured out a little bit better because a lot of hers like hung down a little too low. So anyways, there's that. That's your first time hearing. Wow, I'm. I it blows my mind that like there are so many people till this day that don't know anything about moms. Um, even like I wish I had mine. I don't even know where mine went. Like, I, I don't even have a picture of me in it, and that just I I'm devastated by this. So, yeah, that makes me sad. No clue or mine probably in a landfill somewhere or gone by now, you know, but anyways, so that's that. You've never heard of moms? Wow. I, I don't, I definitely think that there's not that many, I don't know where you are. I don't know where you live. Um, it's definitely not a North thing for sure. It's definitely South and I don't even know like how many states do it, but it's it's a Texas thing for sure. So, I mean, I grew up, I grew up doing this, it, heck, it, the by y'all's response, it might only be a Texas thing. Um, 
But yeah, it's very cool. Oh, how's the driveway coming along? So it's finally cleaned. I hired a professional guy to come out and power wash. He did an amazing job. And then we were talking about it because, and this is the part that gets so frustrating, but his opinion was that um, whatever the county was doing wasn't gonna fix my problem, that I needed more drains. And I'm like, but I don't know that he's right to be honest because I had an irrigation specialist come out and I had the county tell me too that like, no, my house isn't the problem. I have the proper drains essentially. Um, so I don't know why this guy said this to me, but I will say that I think one of my drains near my driveway is plugged up from all the mud. Um, so I think it needs to be cleaned out. But essentially right now it's nice and clean and I have nothing to leap over. Um, we haven't had any rain, so that's also been a huge factor in this. Um, they have done some pipe installation, but they took away the, the county's gone, but they still have all the flags and they didn't finish like the rest of my street. So I don't know. And they didn't, they didn't um, sod one of the houses that they dug up. They they sodded the other ones that they dug up, but not this one. So I don't think they're finished. Um, so we haven't had any rain for me to like know if there's been like some improvement. So we'll see. So hopefully that answers your question. But I'm gonna go now because it's Loki's dinner time. He's, I put him up when I started this, so. I'm gonna go ahead and let him out. Um, no, she doesn't. No, if anyone would have it, it would be my grandmother because my grandparents raised me, but my grandma def definitely doesn't have it. So, Frankie, thank you. You did not have to do that. Thank you so much. You, you guys do not have to like send me money on the lives. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. Um, I can't see the comments or they're just gone. Thank you so much. I was able to get the smell out of Loki's kennel. Um, I bought some odor absorbers. I think it's definitely, it's helped for sure. And I just think I need to up his baths a little more with him being male and not being neutered yet. I just think he needs a little bit more. So he's about to actually get another one. Thank you so much for telling me to have a lovely day. You too. But yeah, so. <laughs> Hurricane status is it never hit. Um, it never hit me. I never even got any sort of, I didn't even get like tail end or anything. I hope my yard stays dry too. Me too. Yeah, mom's when you to high school. Yeah. Good job, Loki, guarding the packages. <laughs> he just, he feels, he feels like he has to do it. He's the Etsy guard dog, you know? So he's so cute. You guys, when he's in the car though, he's, you know, he's just like a dog sticking his head out the window. And it's just, it's absolutely adorable. He's precious. And then when I, whenever I get out, cause like this is still part of training and everything, you know, I purposely parked where he can see me from his window. So he doesn't have to like run around in the car. Um, so I park so he can see me walk in. I'll get out and I'll look at him and I'll say, stay. And he just sits there and he looks at me. Cause at one time he like, was like, oh, I'm, I'm going too. And I was like, no, stay. And he stayed and then I came back out and it's just so cute. I'm in big trouble. I, I'm, I'm in love with this dog. I'm like, I'm already deeply attached. So that's just gonna be devastating. I know I'm so excited to watch Hocus Pocus too. 
but I, I do think I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. Like I'm not trying to wash this at midnight, but I'm gonna probably have like a little, a little something in the patio. I actually thought about doing a live watch with me, um, but I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna do that to be honest. Get married to Loki. Okay, it's in there all day, okay. Um, so, uh, so yeah. My face is like this because I don't know what to say. Um, yeah, that's, that's the, that's why I thought about not doing a live because I thought I wouldn't enjoy it and I, I want to have like, you know, just, just a whatever, you know. <sighs> I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I'm feeling awkward. Um, but yeah, so I love you guys. I will see you next time. My Dollar Tree candle made you spit the water out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I I wish it never existed. So that's my thought. Hey from the UK. I'm always amazed, like this is probably one of the, you know, when you and a lot of you probably know this if you're around my age or older, it is wild. It's wild to be sitting here and like somebody's from Puerto Rico or South Africa or UK. It's wild. I mean, who remembers AOL? We didn't know y'all, we didn't know who we were talking to, but it was okay. That was honestly the start of catfishing, if we're being honest, but you know, oh man, good times, good times. But anyways, I look like Kim Kardashian. Okay, thank you. Um. Uh, the answer to your question, Dollar Trees that I shopped at in Dallas, so many, cause they're all that good. Cause they're all that good. Like I, there wasn't one that I didn't go to and I tried quite a few that were just different. They were just all amazing. So you can't go wrong. I don't age, what is my secret? I don't know. I wish I knew. <sighs> All right, guys. Yeah, my moderator's not on today, but, um, but it's okay. You can't, you can't please everybody. And it's like, you just gotta, you gotta, you know, just let it go. Cause you know, it doesn't change, you know, whatever they say doesn't change the reality <laughs> of Loki and all that, you know? Say what you wanna say, okay. Um, where am I originally from? Uh, that's a hard question to answer. I never know like what, my family's Italian. So my whole family's from Florence, Italy. I was born in New Orleans, but we moved immediately to Dallas. But I spent the first six years of my life in Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> and then 34 years in Dallas. So you decide where I'm from. Cause sometimes I really don't know. I really just don't know. I just say Texas because like it makes most sense. 
Am I a Dallas Cowboys fan? Absolutely. Absolutely. Gotta love the stars. All right, guys. Why are you not Dallas cheerleader? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, flexibility, one. Okay, age, two. Um, if I had to do the splits in the air and land in that same position, I would be dead. That's that's really that's really the only answer. That's it. That's that's the answer why I'm not a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader because I would be dead. So. Hopefully that answers everyone's questions. You can be a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader, Mary Loki. Yes. God, I can have it all. <laughs> Woo. Um, actually, I was thinking about the, the NFL uniforms and I was thinking about, um, and I don't think I'm biased, but the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders uniforms are they're their top notch. I would say coming in a close second would be the Denver Broncos. But I honestly, I was, I was thinking about this because the other night I was like, what do the other uniforms look like? And as I saw them, I was just mortified. I'm going to be honest. I was mortified from what I was seeing. I was like, who's putting these girls in these uniforms? Um, I would love to like design them. That would actually be kind of fun. Because <laughs> in a way it's like costumey. Like I don't think I could design like high fashion at all. No, God, no. But some of them I'm like, why? What did they ever do? Um, but yeah. But I, I, de I definitely think Denver Colt, they're the Denver Broncos. Sorry, I was going to say the Colts. Colts are cute too. They have like a little skirt, I think, right? The white and the blue. Theirs is actually not bad. Um, but yeah, Denver Broncos are probably a close second. Oh, thank you. All right, guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to go play with Loki. And I'm going to go ask him to marry me first. I'll let you know what he says. And then um, I'll see you guys later. I was the very first hauler that you saw. That's so awesome. If you were blocked, you wouldn't be able to comment. But all right, guys, that's it.